assalamu alaikum this is the continuation of part b of question number 16 so first in first part we have drawn the frequency table now we are going to draw the histogram uh, and how we are going to represent this data in histogram let's uh, find out so histogram is basically a bar graph there is y axis and x axis on y axis you are going to write the number of students which is also the frequency and on the x axis or on the horizontal line you are going to place the marks in the uh, so in this frequency table uh, the maximum number of students or the maximum frequency is 22 so we are going to place the maximum frequency and uh, two extra numbers to uh, draw the bars because we are going to draw the bars of these numbers and the horizontal line contains these numbers so what i am going to do i am going to uh, take the maximum number of frequency and add 2 and then i am going to uh, place the numbers uh, by dividing them into groups on the vertical line and how i am going to do so for my convenience to draw the graph in a smaller place i have divided this into groups the 24 that i have taken the 22 is the maximum frequency and then i have added 2 to it so what i have taken i have taken four small boxes for four students that means i have taken one small box for the one student i do not have graph paper right here but you have the space of graph so you are going to count that small boxes that are given in the graph and uh, uh, take that one small box as one student on this line okay and then for this line on the x axis i am taking five small boxes for 20 marks five small boxes for 20 marks because the frequency table is from 20 to 40 then 40 to 60 and 60 to 80 and 80 to 100 that means this uh, they the two values have 20 marks gap okay so i am going to add 20 uh, sorry i am uh, going to take five small boxes as 20 marks so what i have done i have taken uh, first i have count four small boxes and written the four then again four small boxes and after that i have written eight then small boxes and then 12 16 20 and 24 and again i have counted five small boxes and written 20 then again five small boxes 40 and continue this in the first 0 to 20 we do not have any value so we are not going to place any bar over here the first bar which are which we are going to draw is uh, the frequency table that we have studied so the bar will be from 20 to 40 that means as width wise width wise uh, from left to right we are going to take the space between 20 and 40 and uh, the height of the bar we are going to take as 6 number of student because on the y axis we have number of students so we are going to take this as the height so uh, the width of the bar is from 20 to 40 as you know the first and the second line is over 20 and 40 and the height of the this bar is 6 because from 4 to 8 6 will be in the middle right after 4 there is 5 6 and 7 so, so there is three numbers so we are going to place three lines like this e divide them equally these are not equal which i have drawn but you have to divide them equally so from center in the middle of these two we have 6 so the height of the bar will be like this this will be your first bar and the second bar will be from 40 to 60 you have eight students so from 40 to 60 the next bar width will be from 40 to 60 and the height will be at 8 so this will be your next bar and third will be from 60 to 80 and the bar will be of that quantity as you know the frequency of this bar will be 22 so we have to find out where 22 is on y axis here from 20 to 24 there are three numbers between it 21 22 and 23 so 22 will be in the middle so the bar height will be in the middle of these two 20 and 24 this will be the height of the third bar which is from 60 to 80 and the last bar is from 80 to 100 which will be 
of height 4 because the frequency is 4 so we, the height will be like this and this is how you draw a histogram